Hi guys, Aussie Coin Hunter here. Well, it is raining up a storm today. Funny that because there's a storm. But something that just keeps bugging me of all the finds that I've had while metal detecting, all the places I've gone, um, this one find just eludes me. I just, <laughs> it's like something in the back of my head just fighting the back of my head like, I don't know, like a like an alien or something. And it's, what bothers me is because I can't identify it. It's a coin, uh, and it's in pretty poor shape. But I'm going to put this out there because someone must know, uh, must be able to help me identify it. It's driving me nuts. I just want to find out what it is because it was found at quite an old house site. That being said, uh, it could be uh, World War II era, but for it to be as in the condition it's in, I would suggest that it's older than that. So uh, it was down probably about oh, 100, 150 mil, towards 200 mil deep at the front of a homestead. All right, so I pulled out my coin folder. And I have the coin right here. I'm going to do some very good stills, highest possible quality, clear stills as I can. And so you can have a look. That seems to be the head of a king. This side seems there's really not a lot to it. You have some measurements there for you. And to give you some idea, I'm trying to give some good light. Okay. English 10 pence and then you've got for the American folks the Buffalo nickel so that gives you an idea of size and the Australian 10 cent piece 10 cent coin so that gives you an idea. So let's go to the light box. Okay, so this is the only angle. So you can see what it's like. The only angle is like, like this. To actually get the head, you can see the, the base of the bust there, his chin, his face. And it looks like at the very top, the top of his head, there's a... Right top, you see there's like a little dot on the top of his hat, if you like. <clears throat> it does seem to be words around the outside. Around the outside there, but I just cannot make them out. I'm going to have another go at it with the magnifying glass. It's quite flat and quite, um, how would you say it? It's just, nothing really stands out. It looks like there could be words around the outside, but you can see that wrinkled kind of a, a pattern. So that could be a sign of a more modern coin, I don't know. On the edge, you, I try to look for it like a milled edge sort of effect to it, but I just really can't tell. All right, guys, so please, please, please put your thinking caps on. Uh, ask anyone you know about this coin that I've shown in the video. This, the, the crown, the head, the bust of the, of the character on the coin reminds me of that looking, I think he looks to the left, um, with that type of crown, that, that kind of a look. I can't seem to find it at the moment, but it is a, a copper or bronze coin, if you like, kind of like a penny composition. It's not silver. Um, so, yeah, please help. Let me know. Uh, I'm going to be looking into it a bit more. <clears throat> 
But until then, look forward to hearing your comments.